grizzly polar, brown or black bear. Exceptional predators with an enormous historical depictions as the alpha emperor of all living beings. Mythological and cultural icons of almost all nations all over the planet. The bears are something we are amazed with and terrified from at the same time. What if I told you that we found a bear the same size as an elephant? how much more astonished and petrified you would be if it comes to be true. Well, in one world, it's true. Today we are talking about the biggest bear that has ever lived. South American giant short-faced bear, Arctopterium angustinus. Fossils of the largest known bear to have ever lived have been found. A giant that was the most powerful land carnivore of its time, scientists said. The newly described bones were discovered in 1935 during construction of the San Juan de Dios Hospital in La Plata City, Argentina. They date to about 1 million years ago and include both the right and left arms. This titan lived between 2 million and 500,000 years ago, with its closest living relative being the spectacled bear, Tremarctos ornatus, of South America. According to the researcher Leopoldo Sebelzon, a paleontologist at the La Plata Museum, based on measurements of the fossil's leg bones and equations used to estimate body mass, the bear would have stood at least 11 feet tall, 3.3 meters on its hind legs and would have weighed between up to 3,000 and 500 pounds. In comparison, the largest record for a living bear is a male polar bear that obtained a weight of about 2,200 pounds. Not just bigger, quite a big gigantic. The scientist also suggested the reason why this species might have grown so huge. When bears arrived in South America, after the land bridge between the Americas appeared about 2.6 million years ago, there were relatively few other big predators there at the same time, with the exception of the saber-toothed cat. In South America, researchers suspect a glut in prey and a lack of competition combined to make the bear king of the continent. But as more meat eaters evolved, short-faced bears adapted, becoming smaller and more omnivores, like the modern-day black bear. In North America, the short-faced bear's increasing size may have offered an advantage. Its sheer heft may have scared off saber-toothed cats and other predators from their kills. By these numbers, it would have been the largest and most powerful meat-eater on land at the time, scientists say. However, Arctopterium angustinus was not a hypercarnivorous monster that fed exclusively on giant sloths and other large mammals. True, it was big enough to take down large prey and run the saber cat's milodon off a meal, just as Yellowstone's grizzly bears steal kills from wolves today. But it probably had a mixed diet and included some salad with its steak. The dietary flexibility of this gigantic South American bear makes its disappearance around 800,000 years ago all the more perplexing. If the new analysis is correct, then this giant bear had a more flexible diet, and the idea that it was simply outgunned by other predators becomes difficult to uphold. Nevertheless, we do know the largest of the Arctopterium species ate more meat than those species that followed it. The last remaining short-faced bear, the Andean spectacled bear, is more herbivorous than most other bears. Normally about 5 to 7% of their diet is meat. Sometimes even the apex predators turn over a new leaf.
If you enjoyed our content, please don't forget to hit that like button below. Most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Comment below to share your thoughts so you may suggest us any topic you want us to explore and present to our audience. We are uploading daily videos about amazing facts, mysteries and stories you have never heard before. So please share this video to your friends, because in that way you are helping us so much, so that we can continue our work and grow our channel to the top, together with you. In that way you become part of the Legovis family. Because you are not watching an ordinary YouTube channel, you are on a place where the truth is far stranger than the fiction. See you tomorrow again. Bye.